Good morning, everyone. Here today we have two blind men who ask our Lord for help. Perhaps they know that he is often moved to do great deeds out of pity. Or they heard that some dude was able to actually cure them and he, they just like, hey, let's give it a shot. Let's ask him. But today, instead of just performing a miracle for them because they asked, Christ in turn asks something of them. One thing, actually. He asks that these two blind men have faith. Faith in him that he can do what he says. And he asks the same of us. He asks us to believe in him and have faith in him that he can do what he says. I can't help but find humor in the last part of today's gospel. I always think it's funny that even though Christ knows exactly what these two blind men will do once they've been cured, he still tells them not to do it. It's a far less dramatic scene of what plays out in our own lives on a regular basis. He tells us regularly throughout sacred scripture to go and sin no more, and yet that's exactly what we go and do time and time again. And we return time and time again to Christ, asking for his help, asking for his mercy. And he gives it to us in the sacrament of confession and again tells us to go and sin no more. And again, within days, weeks, months, we're back at it. I don't mention this to bring shame or condemnation, but to help each of us recognize that Christ gives us his mercy willingly, knowing full well what we will do after we've received it because he believes in us. He believes in second, third, fourth, a hundredth chance. He believes in us. He believes that with time, with effort, and most of all with faith in him and the grace of God, we will one day no longer repeat this cycle, or at least not repeat it as often. My brothers and sisters, little by little with God's help, we will heal. We will receive his mercy. <clears throat> and we will follow through with his command to sin no more. But this process of sanctification is the work of a lifetime. It's not a one and done kind of thing where today I've made a commitment, tomorrow I'm the perfect saint. It takes weeks, months, years to overcome come sin and to draw closer to our Lord, to be purified in our hearts and in our souls so we become more like Christ in all things. It takes time. It's not an instant transformation. So then in the weeks, months, years to come, you can look back to today and, and say with God, like, you know, Lord, I, I can see that you've done work in my life and I have progressed, I've gotten better. I've become more docile to your, your, to your spirit. I've become more open to your will. I've become more charitable to my neighbors. I take out the trash the first time I'm asked, whatever it is. There's this slow progression throughout our lives. And so really, my brothers and sisters, this is the work of a lifetime. So do not be afraid to be like the two blind men who called out to Christ saying, Son of David, have pity on us.